Yeah, yeah, yeah. 2.5 and we got a deal. 2.5. He wants 2.6. Tell him 2.55. 2.55. We did it. We did it. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Two dollars fifty-five cents, right? Welcome back to this week, season two, episode 14. My name is Gaston Rosato. And I'm Renzo Rosato. And this week, we're looking at the first generation Bentley, Continental DT, the car that embodies this lifestyle, but that you don't have to pay for. That's right. We're going to explore a little bit of that. But first, hit that subscribe button, guys. And let's go for a drive. Let's do it. Continental DT was first introduced in 2003 at the Geneva Motor Show. The example we're sitting in today is a 2005. And boy, did it make headlines, huh? It's a car that's still being produced today. From 2003 to 2011, it's a, what's known as a first generation. So this car falls within the first generation of the Bentley GT, obviously standing for Grand Touring. 12 cylinder, coupe car, what is it, 550 horsepower? Yeah, just a little over 550 horsepower. With a twin turbo V12, I mean, we're driving this thing now, you can feel that power. Oh yeah. And the car is obviously a heavy car. I don't know exactly what that weight is, but it feels like you're going on rails. And it's not a V12, this is a W12. A W12, which is a different configuration than a V, but right. essentially, okay, 12 cylinder. W12. W12, yeah. twin turbo car. Now the interesting part about these cars, and that's the reason for this video, any car that came out of the factory was a $200,000 window sticker. We're talking about a quarter million dollar car already, almost brand new. Today, you can buy this car for under $50,000. <laughs> and this car, for example, was 15,000 original miles. It just came into inventory. So thank for the buck. I'm considering trying to buy this thing. You know, well, you, you're a realtor, this is perfect. I'm in the real estate business. I mean, this will make me look like a... A million bucks. <laughs> like a million bucks. It makes you feel like a million bucks. It makes you feel like a million bucks. You're sitting in this, you know, luxury English car surrounded by leather everywhere. The dash, the A pillar, the ceiling is I think what makes it even look more over the top is a combination of color. The two-tone interior the is dark blue on beautiful. Tan. The steering wheel is two-toned, the dash is two-toned, the center console is two-toned. And that's more than likely the way the car was optioned for whoever bought it brand new. Right. So there's always like everything in life, right? You're sacrificing something. And in this case, it's gonna be your mechanic builds. I wouldn't recommend a car that's 14 years old going to the dealer, unless you have that kind of budget. But there is some specialty shops that understand these cars well, and obviously have a much lower rate than what yeah, you would find it. at the dealer. Right. Maybe not just the basic maintenance, but if something that major went wrong on it. Yeah, that's kind of the only thing that kind of draws me back from pulling the trigger on buying something like this. Well, that's why the price is so attractive, because right. if, if there was a high demand for it, obviously the prices would, would be much higher. And this car comes with two configurations. We're in the GT, but there's also the GTC, meaning convertible. In 2005 was uh, voice activation. So you know, if you want to make a call or something like that, you just press that little button on the steering wheel, and that was available starting from 2005. Interesting fact about this car, it's the first Bentley that was produced after Volkswagen acquired the company. So you're saying it's an expensive Volkswagen? It's an expensive Volkswagen. <laughs> well, actually, I think the same engine is, is introduced in the, was known as a Volkswagen, uh, was it Phantom? Phantom. 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 I think it's a Phantom. Right. Yes, it was the same W12, correct. So yes, we're driving in an expensive VW. <laughs> I mean, you get on the gas, she goes. Oh, she goes. The car has power. It's, it's a heavy car, but it has power.
All right, we're back for that wonderful drive. We're gonna keep the car parked here while we're not using it anymore. You know, I always say, in certain cars, I put you in certain moods, right? So we just kind of want to showcase that a little bit in this video with our beautiful city driving. We're not advocates of anybody living beyond their means, all right? Under $50,000 for a car like this is a lot of money, but we're just simply saying that, considering that it was nearly a $200,000 car, it's actually tempting to have something like this. Tempting for sure. And it's such, something with such high quality. It is. And it's actually listed way below $50,000, but you'll have to go to the link in the website, which is listed down below, guys, to see exactly what that price is. You know, for $200,000, you get a lot. I mean, look at the diamond stitch with the contrast stitching. You yeah, got the, the Bentley you got symbol. The Bentley logos on the front and the back buckets. I mean, it's amazing. And pop, let's open up that pop, hood. Pop the hood, yeah, pop the hood. Check this out. Well, right it's here. a bonnet. It's an English car. That's a, it's a bonnet. Check the bonnet out. Look at that. So you got that thing that pops out. <laughs> it kind of scared me a little bit. You got that right. beautiful W12 twin yeah. turbo. Look at that thing, guys. Six liter beast of an engine. And the engine looks so packed in this little compartment. It does. It doesn't look like it's easy to work on. <laughs> and that's kind of where we touched based on earlier. Right. We're at kind of the. Okay, you got to take it to a specialist, someone who knows about this car. You just yeah. can't take it to your local guy. All right, guys, this wraps up this week's video. Man, I feel good after driving this car in such a beautiful city. I hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Our next goal is to hit that 10,000 subscribers. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for us. Our links to our Instagrams are down below as well as to the Bar in Miami. So make sure to go ahead and follow us. That's right. We appreciate your support, guys. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next week. My name is Gaston Rosato. And I'm Renzo Rosato. Peace out. Later.